Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in for Empire on this week, but before we do that, we would like to say thank you all. We have hit 12,000 subscribers. 12 clap, 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 clap. If I had a dollar for every subscriber I had, Man, man. Shit, that needs to be 12 G's right there. We could almost pay your call. Yep, almost. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, I ain't trying to give y'all no ideas, but if I feel generous, go ahead and do something. Y'all know we don't run it like that over here, but if you give it, we will never return it. That's right. But y'all know give, that. You give, we will receive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for all of the new subscribers. We appreciate you all coming through. A whole lot of you all per analytics, because I learned something from Kingsley. Per analytics, they've been saying that y'all keep coming back, keep coming back. Then around about the third or fourth time, y'all keep coming back. Y'all yeah. go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So please hit that subscribe button if this is your one, two, or three time. And Third exactly. time coming over here. And go ahead and hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button. At this point, it doesn't even matter. It don't even matter. You've already been counted. So, this episode wasn't a lot. But it was a lot. But it was a lot. A lot. We're Because <laughs> I was like, what, what, where's the meat? Where's the meat? And then at the end, I said, you motherfucker. Say, so there you go. So, that's the Lee Daniels that we like right there. Yeah. Yeah. You could have did this 20, 24 minutes beforehand. Yeah. Because you wasted 24 minutes of my life that I will never be able to get back. Come on now. But. Preach it to him. But since I'm here and I'm in the land of the living. Come on, let's preach go it ahead. to him. Let's go ahead preach and Preach it to him. God darn it, preach it to him. I ain't going to preach it we, we call this episode TSS. Because we're not pronouncing all that tonight. Yeah, it, that don't even matter. So we still back off where Lucius is trying to get. And Giselle is trying to get TBD back on the map. Mm -hmm. And Kingsley, it ain't here for it because we know he got a personal issues with God doing Lucius. So he rather for them girls to lose their whole career, God doing it, in order to let them get back on the map. Yeah. But come to find out, it really is personal. Very personal. We seen in the episode that Kingsley going this little this leopard skin box, <laughs> <laughs> and he pulled his picture out there, and we was like, who is this lady? So we see later on the episode, he ended up going to the hospital. And it was his mom on the picture. And she's unconscious. So we're yeah. like, oh, well, what happened to your mama, you know? Yeah. We so don't know, but he whispers in her ear like she could like she could hear him. She could hear him. Or whatever. <laughs> uh we're gonna make him pay for what he did to us. And I was like, what the hell did he do to y'all? You too? He but did I, something to everybody. Yeah, like, what did he do? I was like, we ain't see him do nothing. We ain't see him talk to nobody. All we see him doing is trying to get this new company off the ground. And get y'all to actually back um, these girls up because exactly. they're managing. He's managing in the cookie, uh, managing the girls now who are, who's under Kingsley's label, and he just trying to figure out a way to make this day work. Yeah, give me some money so that we can get these girls out here so we can get this new. So we can fatten all of our pockets, man. And Kingsley's like, sounds good, but no. No, they ain't lining up with these analytics right here. Send them these ROIs on a on a cell phone. Send them on some that's the keywords. keywords. Like what is is we setting up a website, uh, or or putting our videos and putting in keywords, or we are we singing music? But all we find out now, all this is is just to throw them off to make things difficult. Mm -hmm. Cause that stuff don't matter when it comes down to music. When you sitting listening yeah. to music, do you listen for keywords? Mm -mm. No, we you look you listen up. you you look for a, a good beat mm -hmm. and some nice lyrics sometimes. Because some that. some of them you don't you don't know what the hell they talking Do about. You know what the Migos say. But it be sounding good to you though. <laughs> <laughs> if it can make your head bow, it feels good to you. So you keep on listening to it. You ain't know what they talking about. But anyway, so Kingsley, it has to go like we said last week. I'm waiting for. I've been I'm, ready. I'm waiting for uh, Cookie to turn. Got on no, loose as a loose to take him out like he do everybody that stands in his way. But she won't let him do it. So he ended up inviting Kingsley over to the house for dinner. I was like, okay, what, well, you know. Well, which we learned was yeah. actually a part of Kingsley's plan. Yeah, was anyway. To piss him off. It's kind of like this cat and mouse game that they do yeah. with each other. I want to get butt so close, and then I want you to drag me in, and I want you to think that I'm being push, pushed away and pulling away. But you yeah. know, it's a, it is, it's a mind buck. Yeah. All at the same time. Speaking of Buck, did y'all hear Cookie say my word tonight? Yeah. Buck trust. Buck trust. Yeah. I boy. said, I got you, Cookie. I yeah, know we you heard watching. you watching. We heard you. See, sometimes, I'm going to go ahead and say this. 
sometimes every now and then when we watching these shows <clears throat> there are characters that will say specific things that they will do specific things to let each youtuber know that they watch it yep. just listen for it. they've done it to james they've done it to ashley they do it to us it's different things that they would do to let us know that yep i watch and and, I, and we catch it every time because you catch your own skit <laughs> yeah you do yeah you do so kingsley come over there eat the good greens uh, Lucia said, let me take you to the studio and show you uh, what these boys can do and show you what, what music sounds like when you come from the struggle. Because Kingsley tried to shoot a shot about here. I learned about you. You used to be in the streets. You used to be hustling, pushing drugs. You know you know, drugs hurt people, you know. And do you ever feel bad, you feel bad for about the it. lives that you destroy? And I said, well, maybe Lulu gave his mama some dope or sold his mama some dope back in the day and messed her up real bad. And now she, that's why she like that. And that... Still really wasn't putting two and two no. together yes, until yes. they had a little cipher. <laughs> yeah. So Lucia let them hear the music. They gave him a little something. something. It was it was okay. It was just something off the dome that they did. Mm -hmm. And in that moment when when uh Lucia was talking to him, it was like, you know, this is family. This is love. And we don't need your little keywords because your keywords is this what we have right here. But family. you can family, you can start to see Kingsley starting to break. And I was like, why is, why is you breaking? What, what, what's going on here? And then Lulu you kept catching saying, feelings? Yeah, and Lulu yeah. kept saying, so what do you have? Basically, what was instilled in you? Because I instilled music into my boy's Boy. sound. And even Andre. Andre is a problem solver. I could give yeah. him a hundred problems and he would come up with a million ways to solve those problems. And Andre looking over there like, yeah. Yeah. I got <laughs> me and you one of the same. And I said... Okay. <laughs> yeah. I said this is this is getting yeah. very interesting. Very interesting. But y'all seen it. He went back to the hospital and said, Mama, I got it. I got close. And he flipped the picture open. He was like, Dad. This what he gonna get. This is what he gonna get. I'm gonna eliminate. I was like, what? I was like, who worse? Lucius or freaking um uh Jim Cry on having to have not I've got all these kids popping up everywhere. I said, so, I said, so Lulu had a baby with a white woman? But you know, as you look at it right now, they, they resemble each other a little bit, though. He got so a lot of tone to So him. it looked like when he flipped the picture over, it was a picture of his mama and Lucius when they were real young. Mm -hmm. So obviously, whatever Lucius did, he did it when they was young. So I don't know what they got with, to do with his mama. And I don't know if the abandonment and didn't come back and get them when they got successful. I don't know. And I'm trying to figure out where did he fit in the puzzle because he looks younger than Andre. Yeah. Oh, but Lucius looked look like he looked when him and Cookie was back in the day, you know, hustling to push them right doing uh, uh, music out of the back of his cat. <laughs> but who is this mama though? Who this lady? Because we thought it was the lady that sing uh, Walk, Walk Out on. on Me, but it won't hurt. It we, won't hurt. It won't hurt, so. So, y'all keep y'all into the street on that one because yeah. who this? How about who this one? Yeah, so maybe we're going to find out. So, we got uh, this girl named Winter Rose up on Jamal that he had been working with online. I guess he met her when, she was, when he was in London, I guess. But she come on walking up in there because Kai thought it was, was the piece of the lift. <laughs> yeah, but he knew who she was. Yeah, so she pop up. Hey, we need to finish this music. And yada, 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 yada. <laughs> I said, oh. And I'm staying here. Rumor, but what too? Yeah, I'm like, this you black. You I'm like, I thought only black people did that, so I guess people in London do that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, people move in and. Yeah. What, Indefinitely. Now, well, you ever had anybody that stayed oh. with you? They never say they they live with you, living with you, and you don't know when that transition happened, and when all that stuff got there. Just think about that for a little bit. Don't worry about it. So <laughs> <laughs> it will never happen again. <laughs> but this girl got some motherfucking pipes on her. That child can turn. Yeah, she can sing. Man, she can sing a heck of cookie with her got on clinchers trying to steal Jamal's got no artist and Jamal ain't here for that skit. Andre won't, I mean, God, don't, Jamal was not feeling that thing uh -uh. at all. Yeah, because, and I'm with him on that. Yeah, I'm like, come on, you are. Like he said, you go behind my back trying to take a person that I've been working with to try to get your business off the ground. And Cookie was like, well, you using my studio. He was like, uh, Touche, but anyway. Touche, but anyway, but it's still my artist. 
And uh, by the way, mama, I got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> And she was like, oh, so who's the one keeping secrets and doing stuff behind people's back? And then come to find out, everybody knew about the engagement, which I don't even think that I knew that. Yeah. Everybody knew about the engagement, it's... even Lulu. Yep. Except for Cookie. And Lulu said, I'm, I still don't know how I feel about my <laughs> son marrying a man. Mm. But Kai's a good dude, man. He yeah. Good dude. And I said, Lulu in his colors, boy. I like Lulu in his colors. Yeah. <laughs> So we uh find out that that moment that little diss track that uh oh, that God. Hakeem did that he put out and then he deleted he thought it was gone but it got some Sir, some hold of you. the news got a hold of it and Blake got a hold of it so Blake decided he gonna respond and I ain't gonna lie Blake responded with the file he hit yeah, he, he hit, hit his family he hit his kids uh, Tiana he hit everything he hit him. Yeah, he he did like um, Eminem did on on. Uh, I, I know something I'm about, about you. you. That's <laughs> or a eight mile. School. Yeah, he did an eight mile on on uh, Hakeem. So Hakeem up all night trying to decide how he gonna come back, and then he finally came to his senses and got on his social media and said, "You know what? I'm not gonna respond to Blake." He said, "What's gonna end up happening?" This beef is gonna go on and on mm -hmm. online. Y'all gonna forget about us eventually. Y'all gonna rake my family through the mud. You know what? I'm too old for this now. I got kids. Let me so I'm squashing this right now. I said, it's about time, time you grew up. But ain't that, ain't that just like life? You'll no. go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with a person. Cause the girl in, in um, Hakeem's Entourage, which I keep forgetting her name, but she went, been with him since day one. Yeah. But for right, I used to like her because she kind of would kind of keep him kind of level. Yeah, keep him balanced. And keep him balanced. But it seems like this season, everybody in his entourage are leeches. Yeah. And like they're just there for the good time, the turn of all that good stuff. And the girl was like, <laughs> Blake don't have nothing going on. So maybe you can write a diss track about that. that. So that's what prompted him to be like, let me squash that. Yeah. And that's just like people in your life. Why do you keep going back and forth with people that don't have skit? Exactly. Who the one look stupid? They do, but we too we too much let our ego get in the way, man. We don't want you know somebody to say something about us. We want to retaliate. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm and, not gonna argue with somebody nah. that ain't got as much as I do. And even if you do got more than me, I might play with you for a little while because sometimes I get in that little mood where I get feel like petty. doing it, where I get petty. a little petty. But I'm not gonna sit there and go back and forth with somebody that. And I ain't talk about you know money and all that good stuff. But what? I like no. I'm a strong component of uh you know I ain't trying to preach no Bible scriptures at y'all but the one that say pride comes before destruction in yeah, Proverbs that's what it is. that is so true before you hit uh and and I, that's why I'm so glad that Hakeem do he did because he did that he was setting himself up for destruction if he let his pride get in his way mm -hmm. yeah so then it's like you said he got you know two girls. And you know, sorry he lost his the, the son. No, he no, lost the daughter. No, the daughter. I got a son and a daughter, but he lost the daughter. Yeah. You I know what's funny all, to me? Got that all transposed. Somebody put this in my comments. They was like, <laughs> isn't it funny that Tiana has Bella, but her and Hakeem aren't married? So it's like in a in a perfect world, that's how it would go. That they've been together so long that, you know, she just takes the kids while he gets his kid together. But she's not the parental parent. And she has Bella. Hmm. Yeah, that is a little weird. It is a little weird. That is a little weird. <clears throat> so we see uh, Mr. Andre is still trying to work on trying to get Quincy out of jail. And uh, seems like he's doing a pretty good job. Not the parental parent, the, the guardian. Yeah, the guardian, yeah. So it's too late for this skit. We kept saying, you know, a few uh, uh, reviews back that the mama Terry wanted to pull them panties to the side and uh Audrey been doing such a good job and so she finally went on and, and pulled him to the side and uh like you say, he stuck the tip in. He stuck the tip in. <laughs> <laughs> Had her all in her feelings. Yeah, so she he promised her that we gonna get Quincy out of jail. And I was like, how in the world can he guarantee It must have been good to him. Yeah, how he gonna guarantee this? But we see in the episode, he went down and talked to the dude to help him <laughs> take out the other dude that was messing with Quincy and said, bro, I need you to, I need a favor for you. But the dude was like, hey, bro, you, you, you fresh out. Why, 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 you, you keep... why, are you, why are you thinking about him? But you know, the, the, now Andre got a heart though. Yeah, Andre got a heart, but 
I thought about this. One of the greatest things in life is when you got the ability to put somebody else before yourself, man. That's what makes you feel good. Yeah. So help somebody then, out yeah. of the struggle that you wish somebody would have helped you out of. But that's what's wrong with a lot of the, you know, these cats coming up. Man, they're selfish, man. They're always taking up us they self. Mm -hmm. So you got to think about somebody else. So Andre was like, you know, I got to get this young guy out. He got potential. I got to get him out. Yes. It's almost like it's almost like Andre is willing to sacrifice himself, but that's what I thought he was gonna do. Well, we don't know what that is because whatever he promises, <clears throat> promised this guy, it had to be good because yeah, he's not gonna make it worth your while. And do end up taking well, we assume we, that it's him, but we know somebody in there took the rap, took the rap for the robbery, and uh, gave old girl a call and said that uh, once the judge signed off on it, Quincy, can come Quincy's on home. getting out. And I said, Andre, you did it. Again. You go from the tip to the whole thing now, player. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can go ahead and get in the bed. Matter of fact, you can go on the countertop. Don't even worry about it. She had a messed up flyer of him in black and white. I, you know, and that make him because you 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 was going on about the image that you know when when black men, little black guys do stuff, they have these fucked up pictures of us on the news and hoodies and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, so she wanted to put a different image out there, and I was like, "That that really ain't the image right there, you yeah. know. You gotta come a little bit better than that." But I, I appreciate the effort, though. Yeah, a for effort. And yeah. even Andre looking at it like, like what that's, kind of, that's nice, but yeah, what kind what kind of uh, what kind of picture is that?" So we are gonna deal with Candace now. So mm. so Cookie them see that Candace still got marks and stuff up on her arms, and so they confront her. Of course, she get all hostile. You know, because when you confront people about what's going on in their life and you see the mocks and all that stuff, they don't want to confess to what's going on. So they'll make you think it's your issue and not theirs. <laughs> and you need to mind your own business or I'm going to whoop your hard part. Or I'm going to disconnect from you. So yeah. So it'll make you shut up because you don't want the disconnection. So they said, yeah, Kevin is beating. I was like, who is Kevin? Because we never seen Kevin before. Mm. I don't think I have. Yeah, I, I don't remember ever seeing Kevin. It doesn't even matter. Like my so, they was over at the house, and Kevin decided to come over there because he needed the keys because he tried to go in the house, and he <laughs> couldn't get in the house. So, he needed the keys because he needed his black suit. I don't know where he's going. So, everybody's looking like, yeah, I, I don't, is there something going on in your house that we don't know nothing about? Yeah. And so she I, said, well, this is what divorce looks like. So, I said, oh, uh, I said, he, okay. I'm not a racist, but I was like, you letting this old white man beat on you, man? If you like what? And whoop him like all your ancestors wanted to. Say so what? I know this white dude not beating on you like that. And so she made uh, we named Franklin, the, her son, to give your daddy the keys. And he was like, you know, we need to go home. We I don't want to. I don't want to. And I was like, is like, he scared of him too? Yeah. So that was like, yeah. And then he was like, I don't want to. And I think we should. I don't think he, he shouldn't be in the house. He shouldn't be in the house. And I'm like, but if he in, if he's in the house and y'all over here. Why isn't is that, you scared? Yeah. yeah. What, 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 isn't that the ideal situation? Yeah. So we seen uh, later on the episode, um, Cookie them hadn't heard from Candace. So it was like, you know, we about ready to roll up Say over Autobot, there. Autobot fall back. We about to roll up over there because um, we got a feeling Kevin up over there doing something. So they roll up over there and the first thing they hear is glass breaking, her screaming and hollering. Come in the house and come to find out it ain't Kevin. It's Franklin. Got his mama on the floor in the choke hole. Choking and, the hell out of her. And kicking the skit and out of her. And kicking her. And cooking go to pull him off. And he said, and then decked her too. Wow. I said, what like, the hell is going on? I looked at Steph and said, what the hell is going on right here? So, so his mama and, and um, Cookie's other sister had to end up running the bathroom. He got the end of a freaking lamp and start busting through the bathroom. And so the first thing Cookie did, you know, she got hit. So she called the police. And so... I, they I don't know where they live at because she called the police and it's almost Maybe. like they were right down the street waiting for her call. <laughs> Should we call the police around here? We They might come in 15 minutes. And they right here. And they right here. We so, live by the police station. So I don't know how you did that. So when the police came, they told us that Franklin, put 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 the, put that down because you, you don't want them to think you got a weapon. Put it down. Put it down. And so when they came in there, you could tell that she was real frank and like, you know, he ain't doing nothing. He fine. He all right. have a weapon. And so they end up tasing him anyway because I, I, I'll I, say that case was a good idea because he probably going to try to do yeah. something. He was enraged. I'm just so glad they didn't shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. They we'll didn't take shoot the taser him. Yeah, we'll case. take because you can bounce back from a tase. But Candace 
was not feeling that. She is pissed off at Cookie because she called the cops on her son. But and he and she punched Cookie too. Like, <laughs> Cookie, you came over here to get root tail, root tail. But I was like, wait a minute. What the hell's going on? Franklin was fitting to kill you, and your sister called the cops to save all you because if he killed you, he, he probably killed, he probably was coming around to kill all three. So I I don't know. It is so, I was like I say once again, Cookie trying to help somebody and she getting. But I get it. I but, get yeah. it because they, sh the mama and the daddy knew that this boy had mental issues. Yeah. And it's kind of bad because of the climate that we're living in and all this good stuff. You don't. How do you get help for someone in a position like this when they're already supercharged? Yeah. Without them getting hurt. Exactly. And I understood what the mom was saying was like, you could have gotten my son killed. I understand that because we see it all the time. Yeah. You call the cops to help you. I call you to help me and you kill me. Yeah. Because the color of my skin intimidates you. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. So I, I got what she was saying and then not to jump ahead, but Cookie went on her live. And she was like, I know you all can see the obvious. I have a black eye and all this. And no, Lucius didn't do it. And none of my kids didn't do it. But well, it came it from a family to, member. A close family member. And I had to call the cops on someone to save another family member. But I was I, so scared. I was so scared that the family member was going to get killed. Yeah. So who helps us when we need help? Yeah, who can we call? And I'm sitting here like, man, if that isn't a that's PSA a, for your mom. Yeah, that's bus. the climate that we're in. But I, but I remember, um, it was a few years ago. We was in a little setting when, when um, the cops was was killing um, black men. That was about two, three years ago. And we was. Well, they ain't stopped. Well, they ain't stopped. But it was like at the time where it was it, at its peak. It was at a peak at that time. And um, one of the guys is in there. That his son is artistic, yeah. and he said, "I'm so afraid that." My son might have an outburst because of his autism, and the cops might end up shooting him. How are we gonna handle that? Oh, he may not follow a command. He might have because he doesn't command. know you. You don't understand. Yeah, he don't know you. They didn't really have no answers, man. They didn't. They didn't and they said no. that they're not trained. They're not trained for that. So first of all, we <clears> need to <throat> stop shooting to kill. Let's yeah. let's start there. Exactly. We can bounce back from a leg shot. Yeah. But for a shot to the head and to the heart, you cannot. Exactly. Let's start there. Oh my! Don't get me riled up today. Yeah, because so, I ain't on my side. So I'm, 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 gl I'm glad that uh, that Lee Daniels threw that in there because I think sometimes when stuff isn't right directly in your face, you kind of forget because it hadn't been uh -huh. as bad. Or I, I, I'm pretty sure it's still happening. It's just not on the news like it was. You don't because you don't yeah. do social media like that. I see it all the time. You don't do social media. I like mean, that. I do see it every now and then, but I'm talking but about. You don't do it but, like me. But I'm talking about one time it would just be always plastered on 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 uh, mainstream news, so you don't see it that much. So it kind of be like out of sight of the mind, but it's still real. Very. And so I'm so glad he brought that back up so we can still be aware and not let our guards down to the fact that, unfortunately, not all cops are bad, but there are some bad ones. And they're enough to make up the majority and make our mind up that we don't want to buck with them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't, but I, I can't say this. Lulu Dosh, um, they <laughs> Dosh child support. <laughs> <laughs> he away so Lulu, you you good because you can't even get you can't even pay Juanita and you can't even get a good AC system in your house right now. Yeah. So child support would have took you under honey. You they would have suspended your driver's license. <laughs> they would have came through and repossessed your house. <laughs> they would have pulled it up. They would have hooked into a trail. So they would garnish your royalties and everything, man. <laughs> Look, have y'all I don't know if y'all ever had this, but I've actually seen a house be repossessed. You remember like, that house in Tappahannock? Oh, where they the, picked the whole house yes, up and re relocated and, and relocated because <laughs> the family were fighting. The family were fighting about the house and the land, and they literally had the house on the back of on the back of back two, two trucks. tractor trailers, yeah. driving it down the street backwards. <laughs> I said, "What kind of bullshit are you on?" That you would go through these measures. And, it, it's a, and this ain't a small house. This this is a two-story house. This is a every bit of 4,000 square feet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big house. 
it was a whole event for the whole town. Like yeah. everybody parked their cars. I don't know how they. I don't know how they got up underneath for all the foundation. We were that, watching this like the Macy's parade. Yeah. <laughs> a whole house is going down the street on track track. Can you imagine you going down the interstate? Not a double wide. A house. A whole house that was built from the ground up. A stick house. Stick built house. You know, cause we see double wires all the time going down the road. Nah, we we talked about house. But you ain't never seen house. no whole house. And I think it was half, it was brick. Yeah, the brick. brick. Yep, brick underneath the bottom. So they gonna come get Lulu house. <laughs> they gonna pick it up. <laughs> they gonna pick it up and take it over there to Kingsley's house. <laughs> over on his property. And drop it off over there. And drop it off over there. <laughs> so Lulu, you dodged the bullet, boy. You dodged the bullet. Yes, but sir. what is gonna happen when these kids find out they got a brother? Mm-hmm. Yep. And him and Andre just alike. Yup, just alike. Take it a step further. So, but but the good thing is, if Lucius can convince Kingsley that hey, I'm sorry, bro, I you know maybe maybe Lucius didn't know nothing about it. Maybe the mama hid. I don't know. But maybe if he can get him on their side, him and Andre will be a good team together, man. I don't know, but don't Kingsley act a little touch now? Now that we kind of know what runs through Lucius' veins. Yeah. So he taking the same pills that Andre taking. That's why I said they or not. Work so I'm wondering is Kingsley gonna be in that casket? And that's why Becky was saying you didn't know. Yeah. Or either just Giselle, because Giselle is the one. So Where anybody gonna cry over her? She well, she won the um um uh, uh what you call it trying uh Becky trying to warn her, be like you seen what happened to Boo Boo Kitty for pulling this bus get with them, didn't you? She's like, I'm more smarter. Yeah, but everybody always more smarter than the one that they got they got capped or messed up with doing some booze kids. So you see what he did to Sha? Hmm. Yep. Speaking of. But anyway, straight from the VA. That dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.